A forecast of heavy rains during a hurricane is easy to believe. But what about when the forecast is for an historical storm event, and it's one of several big storms to hit in the last few years? Inside Science This is a very rare event. Um, why are we seeing these happening every year? The average hurricane drops a little over a half inch of rain each day as it passes over land. But in 2018, Hurricane Florence unleashed over 20 inches of rain over a period of four days, flooding areas of North and South Carolina. Elizabethtown, North Carolina set a new state record with almost 36 inches of rain. What made Hurricane Florence so devastating was the fact that it stalled once it made landfall on the East Coast. And so its stalling produced a moisture transfer from over the ocean on inland. And this moisture transfer was what produced the significant rainfall and subsequent flooding. The rains and flooding from Hurricane Florence were considered to be a thousand year storm event, a one in 1,000 or 0.1% chance of happening in any given year. So there is the potential to have a thousand year storm event every single year. And meteorologists say we're seeing a dangerous trend. But when we're talking about the Southeast, they are occurring on a very frequent basis year after year. We see Joaquin and then followed by Matthew and now Florence. Although the storm was predicted to be epic and it stalled over land dumping record breaking rainfall, despite mandatory evacuations, many people did not evacuate. More than 1,000 people in the Carolinas had to be plucked from their homes, rooftops, and partially submerged vehicles. Whether there are heavy rains or the threat of a thousand-year storm predicted, for the public being storm-ready and paying attention to weather warnings is important. Maybe they made it through the last couple storms so they can make it through this one without any consequences, and that's not always the case. And each storm is different and you want to make sure that you're listening and heeding the warnings that are being doled out and that's probably a big lesson that I think people should try to have in the future. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.